What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. The Atlantic Ocean now has an area of interest. We have a tropical wave coming off of the coast of Africa right now. It's this bad boy over here to the far right. And we're going to go ahead and show you what's going on with this. This is what we got. A tropical wave is forecast to move off the coast of Africa tonight and early Friday. Environmental conditions are expected to be conducive for gradual development of the system while it moves generally westward to west northwestward at 15 to 20 miles per hour across the eastern and central tropical Atlantic during the, lit, the early to middle part of this next week. Formation chance in the next 48 hours is at 0%, but the formation chance in the next 7 days is 20%, and this is the system I was talking to you about for several days now. So we're going to go ahead and show you some stuff that's going on. We got the European pulled up. We're going to go ahead and show you what potentially may come of this. We're also going to show you some ensemble runs. And we're going to talk about the other factors that are playing into this. So the European run has this starting to develop about four, day, four to five days out. You see that low pressure system over here. This thing starts to develop and organize and actually strengthens as it gets into the warmer waters of the near the lesser Antilles right here and the European is actually forecasting this to make a landfall as a strong tropical storm moderately to strong to strong tropical storm uh, in the lesser Antilles right here before moving into the Caribbean Sea and either making landfall in Hispaniola or Puerto Rico 10 days out so that's the biggest thing we have right here we have this whole thing going on and even the GFS is starting to pick up on this because the euro has been the one that has surprisingly been the more aggressive of the two models when it came to this and if you ever see that with the European you don't exactly need to take that with more of a grain of salt than you do with the GFS because once you see the euro see something and once you see the GFS see something you got to look at this and go okay what may be going on the GFS actually has similar things going on with this potentially becoming a tropical storm or tropical depression that approaches the lesser Antilles although it is leaning a little bit more north but it does have a bit of a northern bias to it right there so that's what we're looking at right there coming uh, coming down to this so what are what is working with this what's the things what are the things that are working with this well we have plenty of warm water as you can see right here we have the global sea temperatures as they're approaching the lesser antilles around 28 to 29 degrees celsius which is about 82 to 84 degrees fahrenheit for those of you who do not know and this is what we got going on the ocean heat content right here is also much better than it is in the main development region once it approaches the lesser antilles but even across the mdr we're looking at a good amount around 50 or so which could help support this one tropical system we got going on but it's going to be key once it gets to the western part of the main development region over here once it taps into that more areas around maybe 100 OHC right there. It'll be interesting on what happens after it gets to that. So that's what we're looking at right there. One thing that seems at first glance to be working against it is the wind shear because at this point today, we're looking at this, and this is pretty volatile across the Caribbean, across the Gulf, across the Western Atlantic. But we're going to go ahead and show you what's going on in the Eastern Atlantic. There is still quite a bit of shear over here, but where this tropical wave is, there's not as much as there is right across all over the place. And as you can see over here, we're looking at this, and we're looking at like 10, 15, 20 knots of shear surrounding that. That's going to support that considerably. And if we take a look at the European run, the shear actually does decrease considerably, so we're going to go ahead and show you, the, uh, show you that right here and right now. We're going to go ahead and show you the wind shear, and this is where we're at. We're, we're going to go ahead and show you the, the next 24 hours first. This is the first 24 hours right here. Already, the shear starts to weaken quite a bit in the main development region, and then it continues to do so over the next couple of days right there as this thing's starting to organize and get its act together. This is it right here. This is the tropical system right here there is still a bit of shear uh, present oh, up here to the north of it but it may end up be end up actually helping the system uh, as it may because it's flowing at a certain angle it could end up enhancing the outflow boundary a little bit so we have this going on and by the time we get to the lesser antilles the shear does start to increase quite a bit however uh, however based on the other stuff we're looking at such as warm air i want to go a uh, warm air uh, sorry, warm water. I want to take a look at the air at this. And where this is going to be developing, it's actually going to be somewhat mo a moist pocket around a bunch of more dry air around here. So 
depending on what happens with that, it's going to be developing right there. It's basically taking advantage of what we got there. There is potential the potential for some dry air to get into it once it hits the Lesser Antilles, but from the time it's in the main development region until it gets there, it's in that moist air pocket, and it's basically open season for this while that's going on. Now we're going to go ahead and show you some other stuff. What I have pulled up are the European and GFS ensemble runs for you guys, and these ensembles have been increasingly aggressive over the last few days or so, and the European especially has been the one that has, funnily enough, been leading the charge when it comes to this, and we're going to go ahead and show you. We have a bunch of stuff popping up, a bunch of ensemble runs popping up with this. A lot of them are strengthening to a tropical storm, but a few of them are actually strengthening to hurricane strength. We're going to go ahead and zoom in just to show you guys real quickly. Even better yet, we're going to go to the tropical Atlantic just to show you what's going on with this, and as you can see, there are several runs at or near hurricane strength of the European that hit the Lesser Antilles, and we even have a few that go into the Caribbean Sea, as well as the official European forecast that goes into the Caribbean Sea as well. And some, there is some indication that it could take advantage of those warm waters in there and strengthen again, but we'll have to wait and see. That's about 10 days out, but... The European has been, fun funnily enough, been leading the charge. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the GFS, the GFS ensembles right here. We're going to go ahead and show you that right here and right now. This is the 0Z GFS. And the 0Z GFS actually is a bit uh, was a bit more conservative until it got to about here, where it shows two scenarios of hurricanes developing, but it is moving north of the Lesser Antilles with these. And then we have another scenario of this one just absolutely hitting uh, the Windward Islands right there. Not uh, in the Windward Islands right there is a strong maybe Category 2 hurricane. I'll be honest with you, I don't think that is a likely scenario at this time, unless it takes full advantage of the waters and the weak shear and all those areas right there. But... One thing I can say for certain is the European has is generally a much more accurate model than the GFS. And if the European showing more runs of these tropical storm to hurricane uh, strength systems, well, we're we're in for a bit of a treat, I will say. So if you're in the Lesser Antilles, please keep an eye on this, and we'll continue to update you here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.